Hello everyone and welcome to this basic Unreal Engine tutorial that will show you how to create a destructible static mesh in a simple and straightforward manner. Now Unreal Engine is a super effective and super versatile tool so believe it or not you can create a destructible static mesh from any static mesh in a matter of a minute or a two. Now immediately from the bat I want to warn you that a lot of videos and a lot of tutorials present the process with a missing first step. You get the information of everything you need to do is to start a conversion of any static mesh material, let's say in this case a rock from your starter content by simply right clicking on it and choosing create destructible mesh. You might find yourself doing the same but failing to find the same option. In my case that was also the problem but the actual solution is adding a destructible mesh plugin. To do that search your plugins for Apex Destruction. For some reason and I'm not sure about this it was missing in my Unreal Engine and I had to add it to the project or to and the engine itself to actually have it up and running and have that possibility open up for me. So once you get that plugin installed, you restart your Unreal Engine, you should get the same option of simply taking any static material, uh, static mesh more precisely, and then right clicking on it and choosing this option, create destructible mesh. Once you do, you'll get this, the same static mesh inside of its destructible material editor. So I'm going to dock this here and go back to the projects just to uh, show you that you'll get a new file in your folder which will have a kind of a reddish line at the bottom, have the same name as the static mesh you chose with the addition of DM destructible mesh. So whenever you want to use the same object you have to use this one, not the original static mesh. Now back to the editor. As you can see this is the same object we are looking to destroy and it is presented here and on your right as you are accustomed to is the actual settings you can edit. Now these all influence and impact the way that an object will be destroyed. Now first thing you should do is enable impact damage and enable this option as active where you'll get impact damage and default impact damage now active. Once you do you should go to the this option fracture mesh with the, which will actually start the computation of the same destruction and from there you can have or use this explode amount slider to see how your object will disintegrate. You can also move around in your preview like you would in any other preview in Unreal and that basically shows you how the same object will be destroyed. This fracture setting element here is basically cell site count is the option or the feature that will allow you to add more elements. So instead of 25 let's put in 50 and again go for the fracture mesh. We'll need to wait a bit more and see how it explodes now. As you can see there are many more, twice as many elements now and that basically sets your static mesh into a destructible static mesh that will be open to all of the physics of Unreal Engine. So we'll save this, leave the rock docked and now add it to the scene. We're also going to elevate it a bit so that you can see the same destruction take place. But before we do that, we need to check here under the same static mesh destructible instance, simulate physics, which will allow it to disintegrate it on impact. Without it, it will simply stay in the scene hovering like any other static mesh that isn't actually available for physics simulation. So now with the set of the destructible mesh in place and it physics enabled, let's see how it works in the game itself. Right on the impact, the same debris spreads around and the destructible mesh is destroyed. 
So the great thing about this option is that destructible mesh does not include any blueprint programming or changing. Everything is right here where you can play around, add a bigger cell count, a smaller cell count. We can make it, for example, into only three pieces and see how the destruction looks like then. As you can see, these are big chunks or we can add, for example, 100, which is a lot more leave it to the processing unit and see it in action there as you can see a lot more elements and we can also move it around and put it to a higher position even though we need to edit that as well in the destructible mesh settings to actually create a different form of damage dealing or damage uh, acceptance or damage absorption that will then show itself in the game itself but if we do for this again a lot more elements the destruction is there physics are there and everything is accessible through this simple function without any need of blueprints which is amazing when you think about it a few years back a decade ago the process of creating destructible materials uh, would be a lot more complex in this case it's built in in unreal engine which is amazing and one of the reasons is the best game engine around so that's it this was all for this video on how to create basic destructible meshes hope you found it useful i would love to hear if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you're into unreal and you're just starting out and leave a like if this video was useful to you my name is Ivica, last time thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you on my new Unreal tutorial clip. Until then, have a great day and loads of fun in your Unreal projects. Bye bye.